The only player I ever remember wearing coloured boots were, well, Alan Ball used to wear white ones, as did Alan yeah, Hinton. Yeah. Well, I've, I've still got my last pair of rubbers. They're still in, they're still perfect. Uh, I can't wear them anymore, obviously. <laughs> but uh, I still got my my last pair of rubbers, and they're they're a beautiful boot. My grandson laughs because they're you know they're black. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Yeah. I, 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 I tell you why I was managing the side and say, look here, lads, you'll only wear black boots. Well, I, I, I'm simple. afraid, yeah, I'm afraid I'd be very similar, but I'm not sure you'd get any players <laughs> at the young well, level. Yeah, but they've all got boot deals these days, Alan. That's the problem. Uh, you know, yes, you right. know, they, they don't, they probably don't. Certainly, the top line players uh, don't. You know, I mean, and when you when they talk to players and they say. Yeah. They say, well, how many pairs yeah. of boots do you wear a season? Oh, five or six. Yeah. Oh, God. I yeah. thought to myself, yeah. it was one pair in my day. I think, I think, at the end of my career, people were having two pairs, but I only ever had one pair. I had a pair of rubbers and a pair of studs, and I looked. I look. I never left them off the ground, so I never let the, the youngsters clean them. Hmm. I always took them home. I cleaned them myself. And I always had them with me when I went to the game in in my bag. I yeah. didn't have them in the, the the normal kit and all that. They, you know, because as far as I was concerned, they were the tools for the trade. <laughs> and and I played part time mainly. And, yeah. and I was an engineer. And I had a toolkit, and the toolkit was immaculate. So my boots were immaculate. It's as simple as that. Mm. You know. I think the best pair of boots I ever had cost me three pound nineteen and eleven from Freeman, Hardy and Willis. I mean, and they were they 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 weren't even leather. But uh, you, you you talk about the boot these days, and it, it's become a you know a scientific art. Uh, yeah. Craig yeah. Johnson, the uh, the old uh, Liverpool, the Liverpool player, yeah, the Australian uh, lad, yeah, 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 he was yeah. Uh, being very concerned with the uh, development of the football boot and. Uh, uh, that one where you, they put an extra bit of this oh, on there right. and yes, you can yeah. swerve it yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and do all sorts yeah. of things. But, uh, uh, but could you play 90 minutes in that or is that just for free kicks? Ah, uh, well. I mean, <laughs> you can't I, I your boots when you just have a free kick on the edge of the box. I, I, I mean, I, I, I've, I've totally lost... Uh, I don't even bother. I go in a, in a sports shop. I never bother to look at football boots these no, days. No, I'm afraid. And yet, you, I years, don't know you know, when I yeah. when I was playing. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll have yeah. a walk around here, have a look at football boots. Oh yeah, yeah. always had a look. You're absolutely all, right. All, always all had a look to see what was a, what the latest Adidas was. Yeah. <coughs> And he used to get the co-op as well. He used to he used to have uh, Stan Matthews sponsored boots. Do you remember those in the co-op? <laughs> I mean, I did. No, I can't. <laughs> Here's Tim, anyway. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Charlie. As I said, we're very uh, pleased this afternoon to uh, to welcome Alan Wood for his second appearance with Newport County player here at Rodney Parade. And uh, earlier on, I told you about Alan's uh, record for Newport County, um, 1965 to 1975, 154 appearances and five goals. Those goals, Wrexham at home in a one-all draw, Bradford City away, 1-2-1, one, one. Rochdale at home, 1-1, one, one, another draw, Port Vale at home, 1-1, one, one, another draw, and Aldershot away, another draw, 1-1. One, one. So we never lost when Alan Wood scored. But the major thing that I was going to bring up was that this certain gentleman to my right-hand side, I believe it was on the 15th of April, I hope I've got this right, 1968, the team was Aldershot, am I right? Correct. And Mr. Alan Wood played in goal because County did not have... Well, I'm going to say a recognised goalkeeper because you were a recognised goalkeeper, but you played in goal that day. How can I be a recognised no, goalkeeper? Yeah. OK, well... well. <laughs> Let me tell you the, the proper story. Right? Go on, then. Right. We're, we, we're playing at uh, Chesterfield on the Saturday and Lenny gets injured in about the 70th minute mm. and he can't carry on. So I went in because I always mess around in goal anyway. Anyway, I get to the ground on Monday. It's an Easter Monday, as you say. We're playing out of the shop. 15th of April, 1968. I haven't got a clue what date it was, but we get to the ground. I'm sat in my corner, getting ready to change, put my number five, number four on, whichever I was that day. And about ten minutes before kick-off, the boss comes in, Lukey. He said, uh, you can get that off, matey. He said, you're playing in goal, he said. Len's injured, he hasn't recovered, and we haven't signed the reserve keeping on Football League forms. And your comment was? Oh, all right then, boss. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so you went in goal. Yeah. Now, now yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, it's an interesting fact about this uh, game. It finished 2-0. Yeah. I was at that game. Yeah. Now, within a few days of that game, I happened to acquire a couple of photographs via the South Wales Argus, <laughs> which have been in my possession for 37 years oh, and 11 that? months. Fantastic. But, but what we have here <laughs> is a photograph, <laughs> oh, Tim. which I'm now going to present to you, Alan, oh, Tim. of you saving the ball yeah, yeah. on the line with, I believe it's Gerald King, Alan Smith yeah, and yeah. John Rowland. Yeah, yeah. Am I correct? Yeah. And that is for yourself. And that was a good save, actually, there, Alan. Would you like to explain it? Well, I don't, I, I'll, I'll explain how they scored their first goal, because that was a right mess up. I'm going to go on. Can, can you remember? I'm trying to go on. <laughs> it's just a long ball downfield. I've come halfway out of the box, shouted to Alan Smith, my ball. Mm. And he's only knocked it over my head for an OG, haven't he, the first goal. Has he really? Yeah. Was that it? Yeah. There you are. <laughs> 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 so there, there you are, Alan. You've got both the foot. Would you like to show that one to Steve Horton? Because that is the actual yeah. old goal. Yeah. That, that is, is a great is, header. Is, in yeah. all fairness, yeah. I've got to say, did the keeper yeah. come too soon for yeah, it? That's the edge of the box. It was a crack. Now, could you that please tell me? That is the edge me? of the box. That is. It is. I agree. Yeah. Now that is Terry Cooper, who played yeah. 280 games for Lincoln City afterwards yeah. and not County. Oh, yes, Terry. Yeah, now yeah. the number nine for Aldershot is that Jack Howard? I don't think so. I, I can't. I'm I trying to remember who it is. I mean, I I marked Jack many times. In fact, I was going to relate something for this game because I'm in goal and I've, I've played against Jack for years and years and always had, a, you know, always had good competition. Corners come in in about 10th minute, something like that. If I'm sent an half, I'd have edited it. I've come out mm. to catch it, mm. missed it, Jack's edited it, He's hit the crossbar and come back in my hands. <laughs> oh, my life! Oh, it's me. unbelievable, isn't it? It's that, unbelievable. That is, that is absolutely true, honestly. You know, I, I can't... Look, but as I said, we see so many games. But I was actually at that game. <laughs> but as, as I said, I was looking through my stuff last week and I saw that and I thought, well, you know, it's going to his rightful home, which is and the way it should you, be. And, you, you know, you're saying about that one, second half... Yeah, so to Steve there. The, the second half... Somebody's hit a shot. I've dived full length and caught it. And then I've looked up mm. and I'm about a foot and a half outside the post. I've caught it. <laughs> <laughs> it was going wide. <laughs> there we are. Anyway, that's it. Thank you, Alan. We're just going to have a very <laughs> short very break much. because the teams are coming back for the second half. Thank and you. as their Thank players are coming out, let's look at the half time scores in the Skybet League 2.